So one of the projects I have going right now is we're looking at, this is a computational project, right? not, a, not a laboratory project. We're looking at the compounds from frankincense. So frankincense has a lot of activity um, and it, it's, it's been used for thousands of years in traditional medicine. Um, but what's not known are what the molecular targets are, right? So, so for these compounds. And so what we're doing is a so-called reverse docking approach. We have a library of almost 17,000 protein structures. And we have probably maybe more than 100 compounds from frankincense. And, and what we're doing computationally is throwing these 100 or so compounds at each one of those 17,000 proteins and see what, what fits best in, you know, which one of those compounds fits best into which one of those protein targets. And we're, we're getting some data. The data are still coming, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's going on now. But I think this is going to be at least good leads for either identifying other compounds from other plants or maybe doing synthetic modifications of things, you know, something like um, boswellic acid. It's, it's pretty abundant in frankincense. Um, and I think, I think we're going to be able to identify at least some targets and, and so yeah, and, there, and then there are some things that, that uh, frankincense isn't known for, right? So for example, we found a, a, a few compounds that look like um, they fit well into HIV reverse transcriptase, right? So it could be an, 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 an HIV drug. Um, I, I don't, I've never seen that reported in the literature for frankincense. Um, it looks like we found a, another target on um, Staphylococcus aureus, a, a bacterium. And so we think that it might be effective against um, MRSA, so methicillin re resistant Staph aureus. So that's another, another target that we've found so far.